I was looking at the words of Fun and Fearless for a while, and, and I realized that they're actually quite dissimilar because there's nothing fun at all about being fearless. If you eventually become, um, if you eventually possess the traits of one who appears fearless, then you've done a really good job of hiding all the fears you actually have. And um, I don't think there's anybody up here who has accepted a war who just decided one day to up and be fearless. Like, there's nothing fun about it. Fearlessness, or the appearance of it, seems to me to be the result of staying as true as you possibly can to the design that you have as a man. And that design changes, and I'm really lucky to have great people in my life who inform that design. But I also think that I've been guilty the last, well, first five years of my career of holding on to that design too much and thinking I could control it more. And I, and I should have listened to a lot more people. Someone gave me an advice one time. He said, John, when you make it, you're going to have to ask yourself a question are you pissed that it's not perfect or are you just damn happy to be there? And you give anybody a career for about seven or eight years, they start becoming truly who they are because nobody can hold on to the design that long. And I'm a little embarrassed to hold this and see so many um, enthusiastic people here to support this because I've only really equated the last couple years of my life with fearlessness in the last 15 minutes because to me it is fearlessness that it really is just to me the loss of my original design. I wanted to be Bruce Springsteen. I, I wish so badly that I could have had platinum records 10 years ago when there wasn't paparazzi and there weren't, weren't these new um, nuisances or in, in, encroaching incidences that really bring about fear. Joking in front of a cameraman outside of a restaurant is an incredibly fearful event. When people throw cameras in your face, that is in a white, hot, adrenal moment. And what I realized in the last six months of my life is that true fearlessness is not letting other people steal your design from you. And anything I've become in the last couple of years is an accident because I was only defending the original design and not letting people get to me, not letting people try to take away the calm that I was given by my parents and replace it with this white hot bubblegum Hollywood fear and so fearlessness really is not fun I mean putting on a green thong on a boat is not fearless it's not particularly fun either to be honest with you to not be on speaking terms with your own for a week and a half we text we text this is an accident but I need to thank my manager, Michael McDonald, Ken Sunshine, the man who I originally started working with, and said, Listen, listen, do your thing. You, you go out and have a good time. You do your thing. Listen, look, you do your thing. And I said, Wow, really? And nobody was kidding, because in the last couple of years, I've only really begun to do my thing and feel comfortable. And when you give up the design and just become who you are, you'll find that it's a hell of a lot more natural than micromanagement. And thank you guys very much for this. I appreciate it. Thank you.